Hey, this is Dave Dolphin at practicalworshipblog.com, and we get a lot of questions about the piano that we have on stage, the piano right behind me. And the reason why we get a lot of questions is because it's actually not a real piano. It is a shell of a piano that was made from scratch to look like a piano, but it has our electric keyboard inside. And if you're thinking about doing something pretty similar, it's actually not that hard. And so I'll give you a tour and I'll show you how we did it. So I went ahead and turned on the shop light so we can kind of see this in more detail. Uh, this is mainly made of three quarter inch uh, pine boards simply because they're cheap and they're light uh, except for uh, the, the main frames, the boards that are going downwards right here are just normal two by fours. And I actually started, I built the, the two by four section and, and then I kind of made the sides here. And once I got the sides and the back done and everything else kind of came together. So this is the player side of the piano. We got more pine boards here on the, on the tops and on the front of it. And then this is just a tray and it sits on a piece of particle board and it houses our M Audio 88 key keyboard. This kick panel is a quarter inch plywood. And then you can see down here, we just have, we just drilled in a hole that runs the wire for our sustain pedal. So I wanna talk about these legs. These are just legs I got at Lowe's but I had to cut them uh, to shorten them to fit in that space. And what did I do with the end of it? It becomes the handle on the back side. So our lid flips up just like a normal console piano would be, but uh, if you look inside, you can see uh, that it's just a shell. It's just open in there. And uh, we have uh, the piece of wood that is pretending to be our soundboard. And then uh, you can look inside and see where we have access to the cables like the sustain pedal and the USB cable for the keyboard. Now the soundboard is just again quarter inch plywood and then we used these trim pieces going at an angle and notice that uh, the decorative side of the of the trim all faces one direction it faces uh, to the bottom mainly because that's where the audience I knew I was going to place it this is where the audience sees it and then we also have this light over here uh, that shines on it and it gives it some pretty artistic value. All in all, I spent about $200 in wood and in materials. Now you might be asking yourself, why didn't I take a real piano and gut it? And I know some of you have tried to do that. For those that have tried do doing that, you know that they build those things to last. And I figured I'd probably spend about um, the same amount of time and the same amount of energy doing it either way. This seemed easier and less expensive, so I went that direction. Plus, the size of my keyboard is just a little bit longer than what a traditional piano is. And so uh, this is actually an inch and a half longer than a normal console piano. Also notice that I stained this a really light color, mainly because I knew I was gonna hit it with lights. And the darker the stain, the less that there is for the lights to reflect off of. And so and that's how we built a shell of a piano for our electric keyboard. If you think that's a great idea and you're gonna build one for yourself, you should let us know by hitting the like button below. Also, if you have any questions about materials that were used or maybe dimensions of sides or whatever, uh, ask us in the comments and we'll respond that way. And subscribe to the channel, that way you know when new videos hit here at YouTube. And you can also check out the blog, practicalworshipblog.com.